Okay, right now you're looking at the Pauline communication model that I've made. You can see there are two boxes, one being the transmitter and the other one a receiver. So uh, I've used a normal box just to contain it and to avoid the wires being broken off by, uh, at the time of handling. Uh, not use the proper cabinet but neat work though. So I just uh, get to the circuit. Here is a serial clock generator and that, that is what we are using for the input. So it generates serial clock data in the binary form and, con and it's continuous so we can um, send that data over the transmitter to the receiver. So we have binary data available so that's how I got the, the, an input for our circuit here. Uh, we have used a microcontroller H nine C fifty one, and this is the port that we have taken for the LCD. It's a sixteen two LCD, and to display the time that has been generated, and that we could check out. Oh, here at the receiver section, we should receive the same time. So there has been a disconnection in the transmitter to the receiver. If we have to check, uh, it, I mean, if we have to display the time from uh, the IC directly, we would just have it going to the LCD. So that is being disconnected and that is supposed to be transmitted to the other end of the receiver where the receiver is at. So that's the idea behind it. Uh, this is a small keyboard uh, to set the time generated by LCD. We can edit the time, we can uh, uh, set a, a different time so we can check whether the time, <coughs> sorry, the time can be adjusted and that's a proof that we are getting the change in the receiver section. This right here is the Pauline uh, communication module and yeah, it always has a transmitter receiver in out and it's power 5 to ground and yeah that's 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 the module of Pauline communication similarly we have a module at the receiver section mm, that's that's all about the circuit though I'll be more specific with uh, the connection of the pollen module uh, the, the transmitter pin of your controller has to be connected to the receiver and the transmitter of your Pauline communication modem has to be connected to uh, the receiver receiving pin of your controller. So you gotta verify that that has to be right. And this is where the data is being inputted to your power line, that is the normal electrical connections that you have, for example, that socket over there. And okay, so I have connected it in the fashion so you can follow this. Uh, the 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 mains cable and uh, so the, the the mains cable is connected to the power line. So we can just use a shortcut that we can connect it straight to the same connection over here. And so we can transmit the data over the power line yeah there it goes into your other circuit over your house i mean the connections all over your house so house or premises whatever it may be an industrial environment uh, so <clears throat> the same uh, connection will be there at the receiver uh, we use another SMPS switch mode supply to 
this pin over here and the data will flow through the two core cable wire and to similarly to the receiver section so that data can be received over here at the receiver so that's about the connection you will always have this fashion for less complex uh, modules of Pauline communication okay so just a quick demo of a working model uh, this is the transmitter connected to this mains connection and we have connected the receiver over here to this mains connection let us turn it on so it is ready to receive the time right now it's blank so let's turn on our transmitter it's on and it's displaying time 717 let me show you how it's turn on how it's turning on Okay, so the time is 7, 17 and 27 seconds, 28 seconds. And yes, we are receiving the same time over here. Let's head back and uh, change the time. So it's 717 over here and let us change it uh, 2 7 uh, 25 or let's say 7.30 and set let's check if we are getting the same time over here 7.30 7.30 so success